science is his wheelhouse. Phil Cook, not your ordinary chemistry teacher. He's experimenting with social media to lure everyone in and make some chemistry connections. I was teaching a chemistry class and I was doing some demonstrations that I normally do. I love to do demonstrations to engage my kids in my class. And one of the girls in the class said, Mr. Cook, you should make a TikTok. And I said, what is a TikTok? <laughs> and she's like, it's just a short little video, like a Vine. And I said, okay, how about this? I'm gonna do the demonstration. I'll give you my phone and you make the TikTok. And she did, she cut it together. She made that first video and it was a Friday. We left for the weekend. And then in the morning on Monday, everyone was like, oh my God, Mr. Cook, have you seen? Have you seen what happened with that TikTok? I'm like, no, I didn't even think about it. Uh, but I came back and there was like 10,000 followers already just from the weekend. I made one video. 2.6 million followers on TikTok, 33,000 followers on Instagram. This teacher is reigniting a love for science in many while introducing the world of chemistry to others. To help people better understand the world around them. Or if they're curious, they can ask questions and sometimes I can make videos about that. That's the reward, I think, in, in, in social media for me is, is just doing things that get people curious and help engage them in something they, that they might not otherwise be engaged in. Today, he shares a few fun experiments with us. So we got this beaker right here filled with water. And inside this bottle, I have spores from a club moss plant. And these are called lycopodium spores. Interesting thing about lycopodium spores, they're less dense than water, so they're gonna float on the top. They're also extremely fine. So you notice they're just gonna form a fine layer on top of the water. Now that might not seem like much, but they're almost perfectly spherical and they repel water, almost like a waterproofing agent. So if I take my hand and I place my hand inside the water, you'll notice that they coat my skin and protect it, protect it from getting wet. I take my hand out, my hand is completely dry. Now it's just coated with those lycopodium spores, but completely dry, even though it's been completely submerged. Now I can tell you, you can tell that the water is cold. I can tell you the temperature of the water and everything, but my hand is completely dry. Now there's another interesting thing that you can do with lycopodium spores that takes advantage of their small size. Small particle size and resinous particles. These are, these are tree spores, club moss spores. So they have a lot of resin in them. They're quite flammable. So if I take a little candle and I ignite the candle and I spray them, they pretty much act like an aerosol as soon as they leave the bottle, the mouth of the bottle. Get it towards the camera this time. Well, what are some of your favorites that have done well too on social media? The most popular TikTok that I've made was one that just arose out of pure curiosity. I had heard online, I don't know exactly where, that aluminum cans had some application of a liner on the inside of them, like a plastic liner. Well, I know that aluminum can be kind of etched and corroded away by reacting it with sodium hydroxide. So I took a full can of cherry Coke, vented it a little bit, I just kind of popped the tab just a little bit, and then I submerged it in some sodium hydroxide, which is just lye, it's like drain cleaner. And your kiddos can take advantage of a free virtual summer camp this week. Forget the saying, don't play with your food. This is going to be a food-based polymerization reaction. We take some of it, I'm just using a plastic syringe for this. We put it in this beaker that has some calcium added to it. I'm just gonna start by adding some drops. That the calcium ions, it stitches all of those little links together. And actually you can take them out. Oh my goodness. I don't my computer too much, but you can see them. They're like little caviar. 